So yes, lottifiles.com has got tons of free animations that you can download and use for your benefits. But what if you want to create your own animation and you're not an animator? What do you do? Don't worry, we got you covered this time as well. Let's move to the Lottifiles website. So here under the tools tab, you have something called convert SVG to Lotti. So this is a tool which converts your SVG files, which are nothing but static images, static vector images into Lotti. You can pick a style of animation and voila, your SVG has become an animated Lotti. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphic, which is one of the most popular vector graphic format or the vector image format. And many times developers like to use SVG instead of PNG or JPEG because uh, since it's vector, they can scale it to any size they want. So here I have a simple, you know, gear icon that I made in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, you know, it's simple, you know, it's just one gear. That's it. Now I've saved it as SVG, if you see, gear.svg. And all that I need to do is, I need to drag and drop that SVG out here in the SVG to Lottie converter. So here's my gear.svg. I will drag this and I'll go to this tool and I'll leave it here. So you see it has uploaded my gear icon, the SVG file here. And here are a list of animations that I can pick from. And the moment I click on any one of them, it applies that animation to my SVG and it starts animating. And I can download the Lottie of that particular animation right there here in the website. And it has, you know, most of the common animation types that you get to see in product these days. And uh, since this is a gear, I think the one spinning is gonna make a lot of sense. You see, yes, this is a gear and it should spin, isn't it? So I have a spin animation and I just apply to it and I can download this as a Lottie and I can save it as gear animation. So I don't need to know how to use After Effects. I don't need to know how to animate, but in lottiefiles.com, I can use a static SVG file and convert it into an animation. Let's try a different SVG this time. I've created another one using pen tool. I've just written this text, hello, using pen tool. You see, these are all nothing but shapes or, or lines which I can move around. And uh, yeah, it's just a single layer where I have hello written using pen tool. And I saved it as SVG. You see, hello text.svg is the file. Now the key thing here is you should retain the lines or the strokes as strokes. Do not convert them into shapes because the effect that I'm gonna show you now is very cool and it's gonna work only when you have the strokes intact. So let's go back to lottiefiles.com SVG to Lottie Converter and this time I will drag and drop hello text.svg into this. And the moment I do that, you see hello appears here and of all the animation types that I see, I'm gonna use this one, the last one. You see what's happening here? This is awesome. Now this is using a technique called trim paths, which is used inside After Effects. And now you can create trim paths without even having After Effects directly from the website of lottiefiles.com. Wonderful, isn't it? Now imagine what all you can do with this. Right now it's hello, you can write your name, you can write your brand's name, you can write hello, thank you, welcome, and a host of other things. And how cool would it be to use it in your website? 